Hi guys, it's Carrie with Rock and G Farm. Well, today I'm trying to get some beautiful hanging baskets completed at my front entrance. And let me show you what I got. I've been seeing these at Lowe's and my mother ended up getting one that is larger than these. But I thought that these would be the perfect size to pop right into those hanging pots that are there on my wraparound porch. So they're called Ready Fill. Let me get you up here. Ready Fill Pots. And they for, are for 8 to 10 inch decorative container. Hey, we've got a 13 inch decorative container and these have got some awesome petunias. In. So we have a beautiful kind of a, I don't know, a dark magenta. Looks kind of like a velvet feel um, petunia. And then we have some caliber colas right here. So they're gonna be little. And then the next one is verbena. They don't have any special names on them other than the Calipricoa, Petunia, and Verbena. But for $10, I'm going to pot up both of those hanging pots right there on my wraparound porch. Plus, I have some Dichondria Silver Falls, and I've been growing that out. There's a spider on my knee. Let me smash them. Um, I've been growing that out for probably a couple of weeks now to put in these pots because I love the look of the Dichondria Silver Falls when they're uh, hanging over the pot right here at the entrance of my home. So I'm going to show you a little trick and we're going to get these potted up and planted so that we can go on with our day. So we're going to take these over to the potting station which is right over here and I have to be careful because as y'all know there's been snakes in my greenhouse so I just kind of move all this stuff away and we will be ready to pot okay guys I am here at my potting bench beside the greenhouse I have got my plants here I've got plant tone and I've got our super secret thing to help you keep your hanging baskets moist in the heat of the summer. Okay, so our super, super secret ingredient to wonderful hanging pots on your porch in this heat of the southern summer are sponges. Yes, I said sponges, guys, sponges. So I am not the original person who come up with the sponge idea in your hanging baskets. I've done this for years and I have no clue where I got it from because I've been doing it for so long. But all you need to do is go to your local Dollar Tree. That's now $1.25. But actually, I'm fixing to sneeze because the pollen's going crazy. <coughs> It's Arkansas, Pollen, Pollen Central. Okay, but actually I got mine at Bargain Barn. Is that what it's called, Bargain Barn? Um, and it was a pack of six for just a dollar. So hey, even I did better than the Dollar Tree. So what we're gonna do, you're going to prepare your sponges just by opening up the packages. And most sponges and packages nowadays, they have this little scrubber area on it. We don't need the scrubbers. You can take this inside and use in your kitchen or your bathroom, but we're just going to take those off of the sponges just so that we will have the actual sponge itself. So that's super, super simple. So that's all we're gonna do right now. So let me pull you down here to the actual potting bench and we will get started on repotting all of this stuff in the potting bench. Right now, I said I was, I had some Dichondria Silver Falls. I've got this from a local, um, the plant, the plant outlet, and evidently, he had been growing it for a long time, and I guess he was like me, didn't realize it took him a long time to grow from seed, because I will, he's like, a dollar ninety-nine, and I was like, sold, and I got a whole flat of them. 
and I've been growing them. They were, they didn't have any of the trindles on them when I bought them, so they're getting that out. But I know once I get them potted up and put up on the side of the, the porch, they will go. So we're going to add this. We're going to add one of these each to the Ready Fill Garden Made Easy that I bought from Lowe's for $10.98. They have a pot that is bigger than this that um, actually they have some from, Pro this is not one from Proven Winners, but they did have one of these from Proven Winners. And I was just like, it's exactly the same plants. I'm just gonna see how they do. I know Proven Winners is better, but I just kind of took it by the wayside and said, okay. But let me, just a minute, take a lot of time to get out into your garden. I would so suggest using this method. Okay, so we've got our flowers for our hanging pot. Super, super simple. We've got our Dichondria Silver Falls. Super, super simple. And we've got the magic touch that's gonna keep them moist, our sponges. So here we go. Let me flip you around so we can get this done. Hi guys, well if you were with me yesterday, which would be the first part of this video, I am potting up some of my cocoa liner um, hanging baskets and I ended up with a little oopser yesterday because I ended up with the wrong size of liner. So we just put that on the, on the side and at the end of the day yesterday I went and bought the correct size of cocoa liner for my hanging hot so all right guys i've got the correct size for my cocoa liner for my hanging baskets so instead of getting rid of the soil that was in my hanging baskets i decided to add some amendments to it so i added some plant tone that i had on hand along with some bone meal and some blood meal and then i mixed that in really well together to make sure that it was distributed well So I'm not going to throw away these old cocoa core liners. I'm actually going to put them in my composting worm bed that I have in the greenhouse. But as you can see, yes, finally, I did get the appropriate size for liner for my hanging baskets. <laughs> and so I just went ahead and put that in and made it fit in really well. And then I added the soil to the baskets. So I added about one inch of soil on the bottom of the basket and now I'm going to add the sponges which are going to help retain the moisture in that basket so that the plants will not dry out. Now I'll continue just as normal and pot the flower just like I would in any other container. However, it does have that little trick at the bottom with the sponges so that it's not going to dry out as quickly in the summer heat. So I just make sure that there is a good contact in the soil with all of the flowers and then I'm adding the Dichondria Silver Falls and then I'm going to make sure that there are no air pockets after I put all of the soil back in place and we'll get this watered up and hung at the front of the house.
Now, the most important thing after you get your plants planted into their new pots is to make sure that you thoroughly water them in. And that's what we're doing right now. And I'm making sure that I do extra water so that the water will be soaked up by the sponges and will re help retain the moisture in my hanging baskets for a couple of more days. And so I do not have to water twice a day. Thanks guys for joining me as I potted up my Coco Core hanging pots for my front porch and make what you have beautiful.